Hey, this is Billy F. Gibbons. Some of you might know us from CZ Top, but today we're here to talk about our good buddy Prince. Ironically, when we rehearsed, rehearsing initially for This Is It tour, um, rehearsing, we were at uh, Center Stage and Studios, and somehow, some way, Prince was not next door, but I could walk out of my rehearsal and I could hear Prince. I was like, what? This is not happening, right? And I knew Rhonda Smith, who's one of the, you know, she's just an amazing bass player. And uh, we're friends and I went over, she invited me in. And true to form, the band's in there. And, uh, you know, I've known Prince not extremely well, but he knows who I am. He knows my family. You know, we've talked at length. And he comes in, he look, gives, gives me that look. I'm like, I'm like, what's up? And then um, I guess he's ready to hit. So he walks in the corner and it gets quiet. I'm like, I look at Rhonda, Rhonda looks at me. We're like, okay, time to go. And I got a message from Theo London who said, would you be interested in a full-time position at Paisley Park as a graphic design artist? I was 19 years old at the time, halfway through my visual arts education degree, and I said to my parents, I have to drop out of school. But my parents were like, well, think about it. And I said, no, I don't have to think about it. I have to drop out of school. I talked to Theo, and they said that we, they were interested in um, commissioning me for the Purple Rain murals at Paisley Park. They wanted me to, de to design murals depicting the entire movie of Purple Rain. And at you know, 19 years old, how do you even begin to put this this movie, this legacy, on four walls for Prince. In Gary, Indiana, there's a section called Midtown. And without going way into everything, uh, back in the day, that's the only section that the black people could live. And growing up, fortunately for me, I had three older brothers. One brother was into rock and roll. One brother was into jazz and one brother was into R&B and pop. So my musical influence came from my three different brothers who were way older, by the way. So when I heard Prince, he fell into the category that I most love. There's a guy, um, we, we, called him, uh, we called him Magoo. That was his name. We called him Magoo, although that wasn't his biological name. His last name is McGregor. If you were to meet him today, he would say, my name is James McGregor. We would see him and say, Magoo, what you doing? But guess where you would see Magoo? With Beyonce. Musically. He was also with the family. He also played with Prince. Prince is the one who made him get more into production, even though he knew something about production. And, and he said on the radio the other day, because he just came from Coachella, uh, he said on the radio the other day, the, uh, the commentator says, well, did you go in knowing that you wanted to do this? He was like, no. I wanted to be the drummer, but I also knew about production. And, and, then, and, and then the person said, well, did Prince just, you know, how you do that? He said, no. He said, well, how did you end up doing that for Prince? He said, because he just kept firing all the people around me and he knew I could do it. <laughs> right?